Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to safely update your 3DS to 11.9.0 and the custom firmware will not be affected. So I would recommend doing a Sysnan backup using a God Mode 9. So I will be doing that in this video. So if you have God Mode 9 installed, you should have it installed. I'm pretty sure most of you will. You want to hold the start button on your 3DS. Make sure it is powered off first and I'll go ahead and just press the power button. So you will get to the Luma 3DS chain loader menu. We want to select God Mode 9 and press on A. So in the God Mode 9 menu like this, um, mine is a version 1.7.1, which is the latest version. So you can update it if you wish to, if yours is a previous one. But you want to press the Home button. You want to scroll down to Scripts and press A. You then want to choose Backup SysNand, not the top option, that's MUNAND, we need SysNand. So press A on this one. Uh, it says it will create it um, on your SD card in the GM9 and then in the out folder. So that is where you will find it. Keep in mind, this is a 950 megabytes file, so just under a gigabyte. So you will need a bit of free storage on your 3DS. But this is just in case anything goes wrong um, when you update to the latest version. So we're going to press um, A. And now we are going to wait. Now I can't exactly remember how long this takes, um, but I will, I'm just going to give it five minutes and I'll be back when it's done. Right guys, so it's nearly done. Um, it's literally got a minute left. I think that took about 11 minutes roughly. But anyway, if you guys are wondering what this update actually does, it's done some further improvements to overall system stability and other minor adjustments have been made to enhance the user experience. So basically, um, they haven't really done anything. Apparently something with the web browser or something like that, but it's a bit of a pointless update. But as far as we know, it does not affect custom firmware. All apps have been reported working and I will be showing you guys that in a second. So once it is done, you will get this message saying the backup was created successfully. You just have to press the A button to continue. Now we're back at the menu. What I would recommend doing is just holding R and then pressing start. What this is going to do is just power off your DS. Now we just want to power it back on just by pressing the power button normally. So now we should be able to update our system without any issues at all. I'm going to turn my Wi-Fi on at the side. Now I'm just going to open up the system settings. My 3DS firmware, I believe it's an old one, it's, here you go, 11.7.0. We're updating to 11.9. So we're going to go to other settings. Let's scroll all the way along to system update. Click OK. I accept. And now it's going to connect to the internet and start installing the update for us. So um, if your 3DS is low, make sure you plug it into a power uh, just so it doesn't run out. But I don't think this update should take too long. So once it's done, you will get this message. The system update is complete. The system will now be restarted. You can just tap on OK. So now my uh, 3DS has rebooted. Let me just show you over in the system settings. I'm actually just going to turn the Wi-Fi off. Uh, we're now on 11.9.0 minus 42 and the E is just for Europe so we can close out of this. So let's just open up um, TW Loader I guess, that's like a homebrew app. And there you go, you guys can see it works. So that is pretty much it for this video, so if you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.